You know, he got this vision of um, the pantry, and then he walking in, and I remember grabbing a spoon, or oh, trying to be the first there to grab a spoon. Were the spoons different shapes, or were they kind of? No, uniform? well, no, there was a few slightly, flat, slightly bit the, the spoon itself possibly wider, narrower, or deep, mm. really deep. And um, I guess Mickey's cow was more runny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. on the second day. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, maybe something that from, from the cow is probably that quite a bit of cow then when they were younger. And obviously, that would be the smallest piece of meat, big piece of bone, yeah. small amount of meat in it, and potatoes, carrots, uh, um, swedes, and the swedes would have to be out in the field and they've had frost on them because they taste better apparently. They they'd know if the, if the swedes hadn't been in the field and they've had didn't have frost. Are they sweeter? Yeah, no, good, uh, or, or less chewy, or stringy. Ah. Yeah. And, and, and can't remember, it would definitely beef, more than ham. I know. Not lamb? No, not lamb at all. Yeah, either beef or ham, that's what I can remember. Mm. Big, sorry, and a loaf, and a big chunk of cheese as well. And, uh, Go through a whole loaf, a loaf of uh, bread. In the, <laughs> you know, typical. You know, when we, I st I stayed with my grandparents quite a bit. Um, summer holidays. Um, my mother was a nurse. My father was a policeman. Yeah. And because uh, they worked shifts, and um, you know, a bit, a bit awkward during the summer holidays to wear. And there's no crash or thing. So I went to stay with my grandparents on the farm in Lampeter. So uh, fond memories of you know getting up very early in the morning, going out very early in the morning, committing over breakfast, and then go back out, and then come back for lenses, and then it'd be lunch, and then it'd be tea, and then it'd be supper. So yeah, but it's the taste that, and more than the, th than, than the shape of the spoon or thing, it's the taste. The taste is the thing, you know. Why why would you know? Yeah, everybody has a metal spoon, but. Well, that makes me think now, oh, am I going to buy in a few spoons to save the kids? Now, uh, you know, the kids have seen, my kids have seen chopsticks and all these oh. things. And, you know, they've it... never seen a wooden spoon to eat cow from. This spoon, now I've got about, oh, well, we did have about 8 to 12 spoons. And these were all made by uh, my wife's uncle. Uh, he, he's, died, he's died about 15 years ago or more. And uh, this was his hobby. Uh, he used to disappear to the shed and he'd produce tens and tens of these and he'd actually give them to family and friends, etc. Uh, and, and all of them are unique. Um, everyone, he didn't have a, obviously didn't come off a sort of machine. A different, whether well, this one's quite deep in there. Unfortunately, you may notice there a little crack. Unfortunately, uh, Sam actually put them in the dishwashers now and again and uh, don't do them any good at all. But myself, I will never uh, take cowl unless I have a wooden spoon. I, I hate uh, eating cowl uh, unless I've got a wooden spoon. Now I've got another one here, which as you can see is slightly, slightly bigger, larger, less deep, more shallow. This is actually my favourite one. Uh, so, this one does not go into the dishwasher. And you can see, it's well used, well used, but always clean. Mm. Always clean. It's lovely. Now, if I had... And I thought you'd have bought some cow with me today, that's why I actually <laughs> brought that one in. And I'd have been having a good old... Yeah. Yeah.